Hello, folks. Well, we're going to have give the old tripod like a bit of a, a good work, workout tonight. Tonight we are going to be looking at a U10 gold slaver day and date. A beautiful Russian piece. And also we're going to have a look at, remember the liege, the blue and uh, rose gold thing? Look at that. That was that... Uh, Ingersoll bracelet that I got for my second world time. Oh my god, that looks like a million pound, doesn't it? Brilliant. I am so pleased with that. That has become a firm favourite. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. And look, no wobble either. So, you know, things could be improving. Except my eyebrows need a bit of a, like, you know, a mo. Right. So, there we go. We'll go down and we'll have a look at this slaver. Well, this stuff here is cerulean oxide. Just what you can see here, it's like a white powder. Uh, and you add it to the water to make a kind of a paste. Like so. Don't need a lot, but you know, just mix it all in. So you get like a milky paste. Now this stuff is much, much better than a uh, polywatch. Polywatch is convenient. Whereas this stuff is much, much better. It's brilliant with Russian watch crystals. So you, you get it, get all the solid stuff. Done like so. Bosh, bosh, bosh. And all you need is a bit of tissue. And you just want to dab it on the glass. Just keep winding it down around. So keep it going. Don't have to use too much pressure. You just keep going round and round. Feel it to start to dry out, wet it again. And you start to feel it getting a bit smoother. You do the sides as well. Stuff washes off quite easily, so it's, it's not a problem. Mm. Right on the corners, right on the edges. There's no really wrong way of doing this. A lot, some people like to use um, power tools, electric like drills and stuff like that, but I find that this stuff doesn't like it. You get a nice feel of the glass. Get a kind of a feel of no like no resistance. Finished. Get a white bit of cloth. was quite murky. It's now actually quite clean. So we're back in here. Now I'm just gonna get another cloth. And I can show you like just clean it with a microfiber cloth just to get the residue off. It may need more than one or two applications. Uh, the actual face plate, the face part of the crystal was actually come off. 
very nice. I can see where I've missed bits on it, like, you know, but for the time being, I'm quite pleased with that. Oh, there we go. How about that? That's exactly the right time as well. Look, what's you got this? Smidgen fast. Sorry, I do beg his part today. I'll probably have to regulate that. That is how you get when you get these Russian watches with uh, what they call loose uh crystals. That is how you clean it using that cerulean oxide. It is brilliant. Man, I am very, very pleased with that. Uh, well, I thought I'd give a gratuitous shot to my. Uh, if you remember that leech, now I've got all the plastic bits off of it and everything. I mean, look at that. That is brilliant. Now, the people who make leech should probably think about that. Instead of using the blue bracelet, they should use this. Like that. Because all, all that is rose gold. So, and it all fits in. So, there we go. 1970s. Uh, AU10, it's very thick gold plating. Slava, 28 jewel. Soviet dress watch. All looking very, very smart. I know there's a couple of like uh, smudges and stuff that need to come out. Uh, get some gold polish on that next. But I, th I think that's wearable. It's certainly usable. And uh, I've had a look inside it. It looks absolutely immaculate. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, right, there we go. I'm not buying any more watches um, for the time being because, as my daughter quite rightfully said, she's got too many watches. And she's probably right. So, you know. With the working ones and the not working ones, I've probably got about 200. And that's not a good thing. So I keep trying to give them the people, but nobody wants them. It's just a bit. Well, that looks even better. Look at that. Good tour to a Soviet 70s shot. I'd love to know what year it is. But now the next project on this is to get that date button unseized because it's a bit bummed up. That's quite common on that. Date wheel works, the date wheel does not. Because that's not printed by that. Look there. Do you know it's a lock a little? See? There we are. Look, I paid pittance for this. You know, for a very heavy gold watch. I'm not complaining. It's another one added to this collection. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye. So, just looking at the news about a tornado today across the M25 and then other places. Like, has anybody not kind of put it together? Like, you know, just exactly like, you know, since the election, all we have had is wind and rain which is about right I've called a bluster and drivel and dribble coming out of Boris's mouth I you know it's, it's like is it lost on everybody I just thought I'd add that in there like you know uh,